What's up everybody, B-Boy Spaz, and in today's video we're going to take a quick look at loading and layering your drum sounds in the Kong. So if you've been watching my videos in the past, you know that normally when I use my drum sounds, I load them in an NXT and layer them in there. But the cool thing is the Kong now pretty much does the same thing as the NXT when it comes to loading your drum sounds. So I've pretty much switched over to Kong, and let's take a look at how I do that. So right now we have Kong here, and it's just a plain Kong, nothing loaded. And instead of using the folder action up here, or down in this section, we want to hit this little triangle, which is going to open up the bottom section of Kong. And keep in mind in reason, pretty much anytime you see a triangle like that, it's going to open up something else new. So now, in this section at the bottom, this is where we set our parameters for each different drum pad. So I'm on drum pad one, and on the drum module, that's where I pick how I'm gonna be using my sounds. As you see, we have this Nano NN, which is basically the NNXT, it's like a smaller version. You have Rex Loop Player, Physical Drum, Physical Snare, so on and so forth. So this is how you want this particular drum pad to act. Today, since we're just loading drum sounds, we're going to use the NN Nano. Once we get into NN Nano, it looks very familiar. Basically, the NN XT, which is really, really cool. Um, the only thing that is different is this part up here, where you have Add Layer or Remove Layer. So basically, you have these different settings. And if you know anything about the Kong, you can actually play different hits on each drum pad. So as you see over here, I have hit 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that's what the 1, 2, 3, and 4 over here are referencing to. So you can't just hit the folder and then load a sound and then load another sound like you would in the NNXT. Because it's not going to layer that way. So what you would do, so I'm on hit 1, come to the folder here. It's going to pull up my drum sounds as my computer struggles to do that. Cool. So here we are. Here's some drum sounds. Let's take this kick right here. Okay. There we are. So I have that there. But let's say I want to layer it. So set of buttons right here you have add layer so you want to hit that and you'll see now under the one there's a spot for the sound I load it in an extra blank space and then I do the same step again hit my folder see if I can find let me go to my drum samples find another kick So now I have both those on there in this one. So that's basically how you go through and load your sounds. I can do the same thing. So let's look at it one more quick time. So I'm going to go to pad number four. Hit the triangle. Get me an NN Nano. Here we are. Hit my folder. Let's get a snare this time. There it is. And if I want to layer that snare with a clap, I would hit Add Layer, Folder again. Let me go find a clap sound. And there you have it. So that's how you layer your sounds in the Kong Drum Designer. Don't forget to hit me up with some questions. Basically, I'm looking for stuff to do, stuff to show you, anything you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. Lots of videos will come in the future. And don't forget I am taking donations. This does take time. And if you are filling the videos, I wouldn't mind one penny. It would make me do a backflip, for real. Or try to and break my neck. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe to the page. And I'm out. Peace.